Thanks to all of you tuning in, especially to our subscribers. You can continue watching unsubscribed or hit that subscribe button now, it's entirely free. Today's recipe takes inspiration from two summer dishes that we absolutely love, caponata and ratatouille, which is why this is affectionately known to us as capatui. I'm gonna show you how to make it now. So I'm gonna start with finely dicing my onions, garlic and celery. Now I'm going to finely slice my parsley and I'm gonna start at the bottom end and I'm gonna fry this bit in the base and I'm gonna leave this bit for just folding through at the end. The stalks are gonna give a lovely parsley flavor to the base. And I've got half of my mint and I've picked the leaves from the stems here. And I'm gonna do the same, just finely slice. I'm gonna pinch them into a sort of cigar shape and then I'm gonna slice through them like so. So I've got my beautiful base here. It's lovely and aromatic with that mint and fresh parsley. I'm gonna fry that in some olive oil, a pinch of dried chili, some salt and pepper for about half an hour until it becomes sweet and beautiful. I'm going to generously season it with salt, pepper, and a pinch of dried chili. You don't have to put chili if you don't want. It already smells delicious. So my base is cooking away nicely, and whilst that's cooking, I'm just gonna get on with dicing up my aubergine and my zucchinis. So I'm going for a kind of smallish dice, maybe two centimeters, roughly, you don't have to be exact, but you do want them to cook in about the same amount of time, so try to get it even. And I'm gonna do the same with my zucchini. I'm now gonna add in my capers and my toasted pine nuts and some lemon zest. I have toasted the nuts in the oven just until they're a nice golden brown. I do find that if you have them toasted before you cook them, they still hold that lovely crunch even at the end of all the cooking. So it is a step that's worth taking. My pine nuts, about 50 grams, and three heaped tablespoons of capers. The zest of one lemon, I'm gonna fry that for 10 minutes. You can smell the lemon zest as it's frying. Finally, I'm gonna add in my zucchini and my aubergine, my tomatoes, maple syrup, and red wine vinegar. I'm gonna cook it on a low to medium heat for about an hour and a half with a lid on, a little bit ajar, so that the steam can escape. I'm going to stir it from time to time to make sure that it doesn't stick. When it's ready, it'll be cooked together nicely, you'll see. So it's been about an hour and a half and it's cooked down beautifully. You can see that all the ingredients have cooked together nicely, but you can still see the zucchini, the pine nuts, rich and delicious. I'm going to allow this to cool and then I'm going to add the remainder of my herbs. This way they'll stay nice and green. I'm gonna chop the remainder of my mint and the remainder of my parsley. I've allowed this to cool and now I'm gonna stir in my herbs it's ready to serve. I like to serve it with some extra lemon zest and some pine nuts. Loads of lovely herbs in this. It's particularly nice eaten at room temperature. So you can serve it just like that with a side salad. You can have it on toast. I even like it as part of a packed lunch. I'm gonna finish it off with some lemon zest, some extra pine nuts, a drizzle of olive oil, a generous drizzle and a pinch of black pepper. Et voila, your beautiful cafeteria. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of What on Earth to Eat Now. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you don't want to miss an episode, don't forget to hit that bell icon, and we'll see you again next time for another episode of What on Earth to Eat Now.